Hello guys, so welcome back to our Beach Day Lessons. And in that recording, we're gonna, you know, uh, review another way to code the two by four, you know, uh, in decoder. So in the last recording, we reviewed, or we, you know, discussed this, you know, implementation. You know, basically you are implementing the circuit using its gates. So basically to, to write this code, what we have done just by looking at, you know, the gates in here. Uh, the question is, you know, does VHDL enable us to code while looking at the tools table? I mean, here we look at, you know, the gates and we code. Can we look at the uh, truth table and the code? And the answer is yes. I mean, you can represent the truth table, you know, in uh, VHDL. How we can I do that? Using uh, a statement. Uh, which is called, you know, uh, with select when, you know, it, they come with each other. <laughs> so it's like, if you started C before, it's like select case. It's exactly the same, okay? So uh, you, 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 based on some variable, you're gonna select some value for the output. That's basically, you know, the, uh, what you are doing, you know? So, uh, our value that we're gonna select. So basically another, you know, advantage of this, uh, you know, uh, or another distinctive property of this code is uh, as well is that it's more compact. So instead of defining, let's, you know, uh, show the, yeah. Instead of defining X and Y, my inputs, I mean X and Y, I define the standard logic vector, which is two bits, okay? And I'm gonna represent, you know, uh, X by the first bit of that input uh, standard logic vector and Y by the second bit, bit number one of this standard logic vector. Basically the same, you know, I combined X and Y in one, in one variable, we can say so. And still the enable is, you know, a separate bit, I didn't touch it, but then the outputs is also compacted in a standard logic vector. Now it's four bits I, and I call, the, I call it Y, you can call it whatever, of course, okay? So basically D zero uh, or uh, yeah, this output here is basically Y of zero, D one is Y of one and so on. Okay, so it's a more, com a more compact way. Okay. Now uh, we need to select the output here based not just on X and Y, remember, and also the enable because if the enable is zero, then the outputs will, all of them will be zeros. So I created a signal called uh, WEN. <laughs> And why I called it like this? Because it's basically the concatenation of both inputs, uh, the W, which is two bits, and the enable. And this is the first time to see the concatenation param or, uh, yeah, uh, this con uh, concatenation sign in BHDL, which is the number sign here, okay? So uh, concatenation means if you, uh, if you have two variables, one is one and the other is zero, then when you say that uh, a third variable, let's call it y x equal to x concatenated with y, that means you're gonna gather the, uh, x and y both with, uh, to each other in one in one number. We can say, okay. So basically, w is two bits, and the e enable is one bit. So basically, w m is basically the concatenation of both. So it will be three bits. So it would be like 000, 000, 000 001, you know, 010 zero, zero, and so on until 1111. Okay. So that's what happened. So that's that's what, what we really need. So basically now this is, uh, you know, the, the time to represent or, you know, to write the select, you know, the, the way select when, you know, statement. So I need a variable based on which I'm going to select the output or assign variable value to the output. And this value uh, or this parameter or this, you know, uh, signal will be basically WN, WEN signal, okay? So I'm gonna use it to select a value for the output. So I'm gonna say the following. Y, the output, remember why it's four bits, it gathers D0, D1, D2, D3, will be one, zero, zero, zero. I mean, D0 is one, D1 uh, is zero, D2 is zero, D3 is zero. When we know that when we, we know that uh, will happen when both x and y are zeros and the enable input is one, so this is when zero zero one. When basically when this signal 
which is called WEN equal to 0, 0, 1, which is basically 0, 0 come from the W input, and this one here come from the EM. Okay, so these are two inputs for your circuits. Whenever you put 0, 0, and 1, so internally, you know, uh, they will be gathered into a three bit in a signal called WN. Okay, then that Y, the output will be equal to 0, 1, 0, 0. I mean, D0 is 0, D1 is 1, D2 is 0, D3 is 0, when basically X is 0 and Y is 1. And of course, the, the circuit is enabled, or e n is equal to 1. Then D2 is 1. That's basically the output in that case, 0, 0, 1, 0. When X is 1, Y is 0, and the enable is 1 again, 1, 0, 1. And finally, D3 will be 1 when you have X and Y. I mean, X equal to 1, Y is equal to 1. And of course, the, the circuit is enabled. Then, if enable is zero, whatever X and Y, the output should be four zeros. That's really powerful, you know, uh, because this saves for you four lines, okay? So put Y equal to four zeros when others, whatever. So it's others, of course, you know, uh, another word is that, or keywords that you should use uh, with, uh, with select when statement. It's now we select to wait others. <laughs> so you have key, four keywords here to construct such a statement. And remember, this is only one statement. Look, there, there, there is only one semicolon here. Okay, all of this is one statement, basically. Okay, guys, but this is basically the, the true stable. I mean, you don't need to have the gates to write the, the code. You can also build the code using the true stable itself. Okay, that's basically, you know, the, uh, uh, this design. Now let's look at the, the test bench. The test bench is exactly the same, no change at all. Okay, except that, except for, of course, compacting the inputs and the outputs. So uh, instead of X and Y, I have again the Y, instead of the four uh, outputs, D0 to, 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 to D3, I have this signal called Y, which is four bits basically. Okay. And then here, uh, again, I'm iterating for the enable, which just take two values, zero and one. And then it's rating oh, uh, X and Y. And X and Y now, uh, which is W, uh, which is the input W here, you know, can take zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one, which is basically zero to three. So I iterate here from zero to three. Then I'll sign this counter to WN, the signal that is connected to uh, the input W. Okay, let's now simulate this. So start simulation, work. Then we're gonna use decoder two by four version two. And here is another, you know, advantage of compacting it is that we can use unsigned as a radix. So, So the output will be, you know, like numbers. So it will be easy to track as well. And you can also, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, unfold it and see what exactly each signal here in the output or even the input represent. So let's, we need here uh, eight or nine. Let's wait till we have here nine. So let's run and let's zoom in a little bit or zoom out, I'm sorry. Zoom out now, okay, that's long so let's look at this so whenever they enable look they enable for the four fourth nanosecond is zero so the output is zero look zero and it doesn't change if you if you if you uh, and come back again look it's zero and it doesn't change at all and if we look at the signals all the signals are zeros now look here, the enable become one. The input is zero, W, which is basically X is zero and Y is zero. So the output is eight. Eight means here that D zero is one and then you have three zeros because I ordered them in that way. Okay, if we look at the truth table, 
D zero is written in the in the in the beginning. It's like the most significant bit. But of course, you can play with uh, with order. You know. It's, uh, uh, then uh, <laughs> when x is zero and y is one, w will be one. And also, you can look at the x and y here, zero and one. This output will be zero one zero zero, which is four. Zero one zero zero. Then when the uh, when the input uh, when the input is two w is two which is basically uh, uh, x zero I'm sorry uh, x one and y is zero then you will have here two zero zero one zero okay so basically and I'm reading him I'm reading this output from left to right zero zero one zero this will be two so look uh, zero zero one zero finally. When both x and y are ones, you have one, which is basically zero, zero, zero. And I'm reading it again from left to right, zero, 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 one. Okay, so the least significant bit is one. Uh, so the output is one here, or you know, d three basically d, d, d of three. Okay, guys, that, that that was basically the second another way to code the two by four decoders. We learn it now, you know, uh, with uh, uh, with select statement. We, we learned how to code a design based on the truth table, you know. Uh, it's another way to represent, of course, of course, it's equivalent, you know, to the first one. I mean, the resultant hardware will be the same. So don't worry about using it. It's me, it may, maybe e even easier than the, the, you know, the first one. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.